introduction to the iot greenhouse monitoring and control system in this project we are using lcd display wifi module and relay bulb holder and bulb and also using a full wave bridge rectifier and ldr dhct double one sensor which is calculate the temperature and the humidity and also we are using track pcb dc motor and transfer board and solid mass sensor at the same time we are using ac water pump so we are equal uh, we are providing the power supply through this power cable so we can see here from this power cable it takes to the towards power supply from the input and that will be given to the rectifier at the same time parallelly we are giving to the ac motor water pump so we can see here the neutral so first uh, 230 volts power supply will be given to the rectifier so rectifier we know that converts ac to dc now the, it will be convert up to 5 volts of dc that 5 volts of dc will be given to this track pcb so the main purpose of this track pcb to equally divide the 5 volts power supply to this all components because these all components will be works on the 5 volts of power supply expect this uh, bulb holder and the ac mo motor pump so again the 230 volts power supply parallelly given to the bulb holder and the 230 volts volts ac pump so we can see normally neutral will be connected to the uh, ac power supply but the phase will be connected between the relays so one relay phase will be connected to the bulb another phase will be connected to the relay to ac pump now i am giving the power supply right now here after the power connection we need to set our hotspot setting so we need to set our hotspot uh, as a name as a proit 6889 so we can see here proit 6889 and password should be 129 then only this wifi model will be connected to our network so this is a basically iot proit iot proit need a internet so iot is nothing but internet of thing so that's why we are providing our mobile data to the asp uh, wifi model using our hotspot so now in this one display we can see moisture level temperature and humidity and light level light level is also high so if i cover this one ldr so we can see moisture level is low so light level is low so that's why this light gone high so now the light level is high so that's why this light got switched off at the same time we can see so basically this motor is on position at the same time we can see the relay is this relay is for the ac motor and this relay is for the bulb so if i place this one so we can see the relay got switched off if i remove the relay will be get switched off again if i place here so the so moisture sensor level is show you high In the same way this readings also displayed on the juice ssh chart so for that one we need to go for the so uh, network analyzer app so this is the network analyzer app which is also available in the play store we need to go for this one so if you newly interface this app this is the interface home interface we need to go for the three line and how to choose line scan scan here before the scan you must uh, must uh, switch off the wifi so here we can see it is showing the n by a means wifi module ip address we need to copy this address and we need to go for the juice ss tab so this is a previous while we testing the addresses so if you newly come to this app this is the interface we need to go for the manage connections and here we can see plus symbol we need to place this one and here we have to choose type as a telnet that copy address have to paste here and port number should be 8080 then only it will be connected to our juice ssh app 
so here we can see in this one so it is showing that moisture level light level and temperature humidity so the moisture level is high so that's why motor gets switched off so if the moisture sensor is not detected so it will be considered as a moisture level is low then relay get switched on so we can see here and also we can measure the temperature and vut using this dsd double one sensor and also i uh, will show you the if the light intensity is less then we can see light uh, it is a uh, light get switched off switched on if i cover this one with my hand which is considered as a low light then we can see light level is low very more then we can see it will be on now we can observe here the temperature sensor this, this is the dsc double one which is measure the temperature and humidity now i am increasing this uh, temperature level using this glue gun it, which is produce the more heat so we can see the temperature is high because it is more than 40 degrees so that's why it is showing the in uh, in app as a high temperature and also fan gate switched on so if the temperature cool down then automatically this fan will be cool down so we can see the temperature is less than 40 degree then automatically fan gate switched off at the same time we can measure the humidity for that one now i'm blowing my air to the sensor so right now you can see the humidity levels while i am blowing my air to the humidity so we can see there for 70 now it will become a 59 so in this way this part will be works thanks for the watching